Edward here from ERViewer.com. I have a new video for you. This is a, another session in my continued exploration and experimentation with remote viewing and incorporating a watercolor painting prior to doing the session. I select a target, and again, I'm getting my targets from Lynn Buchanan's website, CRViewer.com. I won't tell you which target it was because, again, I don't want to be giving away all of, the, all of his targets for people who are going to go there and actually uh, utilize these practice targets. Uh, this target was a, it was a wedding banquet festival in a place called uh, Foshan City in China. They have these uh, three-day-long wedding festivals where the hundreds of people come in. They, they feed them three meals a day for three days. The, the Chinese find number three to be very lucky, and so it's kind of a blessing to the wedding couple. And uh, so prior to the session, I had selected the target. I had the, the, the target reference in front of me. I'm focusing on the target reference and the target. And then I just allow myself to freestyle paint with the watercolors. And what I was getting uh, in my painting was just these rows and rows of round things, just these, all these circles, um, just rows and rows of circles. You know, I just really was having a good time with it. Uh, when I got the feedback, when I went to check the target, and as you can see in the background here, um, there are hundreds of round tables uh, in rows uh, for this banquet. Uh, further in, in the feedback, there are, there's these round plates of food, and there's just hundreds of round things everywhere. And so the, the objective with this session, uh, the most important thing, what, what I went into this session for, was to what I call stabilize the field uh, with incorporating this painting. And what I mean by that is that what I've been finding uh, lately is that when I allow myself this freestyle painting while focusing on the target site, then I'm going to something that I feel is more interesting and I'm describing that and I'm painting that. Not necessarily the target every time, meaning that I may not find the target to be interesting. But this thing over here is drawing my attention, and that's really interesting to me. And I go and I describe that. I don't necessarily want to do that. What I want to do is focus in and hone in on the target itself and paint and describe that. That was my objective with this session as I'm seeing this pattern. And so uh, when I was doing my painting and all these circles and all these round things everywhere, uh, I felt that I was on target, that, that at the site were these round things and that I was specifically focusing on the target site itself, not something else. And that uh, allowed me to, when I got my feedback, allowed me to see that, okay, I am starting to stabilize this field um, and honing in specifically on the target itself. So my objective was met. The session was okay. I had things that people, people were moving through um, and they were affecting the area. There were structures around and it was these people was exuberant and they felt this way for this time and, and some interesting stuff. I did this session for as long as I felt interested. I got kind of bored actually and I, I ended it after about 40 minutes um, because I felt that I had, I had achieved my objective. So I really enjoyed this. Uh, the painting aspect is just something that really enriches the experience for me. And as I continue to move forward with it, now that I can kind of stabilize the field, to allow myself to go deeper and deeper into the target itself um, and have an even more enriching um, experience. So I hope you find this session as interesting as I have found it and many, many more to come. edged uh, AOL break biological uh, what else smooth rough coarse inside above curving moving angular Again, inside, 
disappointed. Sharp. Metallic. Give me this. Edged. Across. Round. Flat. Big. Open. Earthy smell. Chemical. Whooshing. Moving. Get in inside. Inside, angular. Rushing. AOL break, uh, people running. <clears throat> Let that go. Thick, dense, hard, open, moving, above. Opening. Red, blue, yellow, black, silver, green, sloping, up, around, flat. AI uh, is coming through here. Trying to match the feeling with the word. Subdued. Focused. Like a not an every day feeling. I 
Okay. Specific to that day, it's like an anticipation. Today, I'm allowed to feel this way. people in it. There they go. There's something here though. something with this
stage four, sensory dimensions, AI, EI, tangible, intangible, AOL. AOL is a signal, this idea of piled on, piled on, stacked, moving. In a row, in a row, okay, this kind of An AOL break here of um, a stack of cannonballs. Let that go. Do a movement on this. Move to the there is something with this. And describe and sketch. There's a focus on it. It's like a, f a focal point. A focal point. In a, in a, um, it's moving in um, and affecting things around it or them. Colors coming red and green and blue, yellow, warm, hot, voices. Um, does feel like there is a biological or biologicals. There is something moving. There's something moving. Coming in, coming around. I'm um, giving an AOL break here of a um, baseball game.
bunching together. Bunching together. Sensory dimensions, AI, EI tangible, intangible, AOL. AOL the signal. some action taking place. Some action is taking place here. Uh, exuberance. Excitement. A bundle. Stage four and a half is. There is a bundle of something that is moving in. Moving around. Affecting where it goes. Do a movement on that. Describe the effect. Um, it leaves a trail behind it.
able to signal this. Um, it's like it washes or scrubs. as it goes. Busy. Action. Describe the effect. Describe the effect. Describe the effect. to um, do a better sketch here. Goes past. Swings around.
It's moving through something. purpose of moving through what's the purpose of, the mo of moving through what is the purpose of it what is the purpose of moving through through something. Passing through. <laughs> Passing through. Splitting. Sensory dimensions, AI, EI, tangible, intangible, AOL, AOL, and the signal. Leaving a wake. In its path. Um, let me stage four and a half this idea. It's like, um, It charges the particles around it. Loading.
structure. <clears throat> it's near a structure. You know, there's um There are things around it. Angular. Man-made things. An AOL of the signal here, um, like it's charging. Still moving on the structure. Move to structure and describe and sketch. Move to the structure and describe and sketch. It's um, angular, edged. Dark color. Several structures. close together. Inside.
AOL break here of uh, horse jumping. I think. Uh, Three dimensions in AI tangible intangible AOL AOL signal. built coming into Let's try this move inside structure and describe move inside there. Move inside, move inside here. Open. High. Tall. T 
cured. Sections. Move inside, structure, and describe. Open space. You can see outside. Open. to it. Okay. I think I'm about done here. Uh, 12.47 p.m. So, um, I'm getting the feeling that there is a structure there, a series of structures. Um, that are they're open. There's something here that is moving through this kind of thing that is moving through. It has an effect on the area that it moves through. Effect where it goes and the things around it. as it goes past, emanates. This here. And here is my painting before the session. And that's finally what we got. And here it is. Structure and all these round things. <laughs>